For every age, there is a time of trial. The rocks faced such a fire before they were the strength beneath our feet. The plants braved vast winds before their roots could give us life. As a sage of considerable years, I have known only one such great ordeal. Yet the hero it created was a champion for all time. Today's the big day, Jack. I hope you are prepared for whatever happens. I think I figured out most of this machine. It interacts somehow with that large precursor ring. I just hope we didn't break anything moving it here to the lab. Easy for you to say. We did all the heavy lifting. Dexter, don't touch anything. Though the precursors vanished long ago, the artifacts they left behind can still do great harm. Or great good, if you figure out how to use them. I've had some experience with such things. I know you can make it work. Looks like Jack still got the mojo. Interesting. It appears to be reading out some preset coordinates. Wow, look at that. Finally, the last rift gate has been opened. This is how it happens. You cannot hide from me, boy! Do something, Jack! What's this do? Or, or that? How about this one? Anybody press all the buttons? What was that thing? Hang on, everyone! I swear, that's the last time I ever, ever touch any stupid precursor crap! There he is. Move in. Step away from the animal. Forget the rat. The Baron wants him. We've been waiting for you. Don't worry, Jack. I'll save you before you know it. Nominal and unchanged. Huh, nothing. I was informed that this one might be different. He is surprisingly resistant to your experiments, Baron Praxis. I fear the Dark Warrior program has failed. Uh, you should at least be dead with all the Dark Eco I pumped into you. What now? Metalhead armies are pressing their attacks. Without a new weapon, my men cannot hold them off forever. I will not be remembered as the man who lost this city to those vile creatures! Move forward with a final plan, and finish off this thing tonight. As you wish. I'll be back later. Ding ding! Third floor! Body chains, roach food, torture devices! Hey buddy, you seen any heroes around here? Whoa! What'd they do to you? Jack, it's me! Daxter! That's a fine hello! I've been crawling around in this place, risking my tail, literally, to save you! I've been looking for you for two years! Say something! Just this once! I'm gonna kill Praxis! Shh! Right now, we gotta get you out of here. Just let me figure out how to open the security locks for your chair so I can... Or, uh, you can do it. Jack, easy now. Easy, buddy. It's, it's your old pal Daxter, remember? Daxter? What the heck was that? Sheesh! Remind me not to piss you off. Come on, tall, dark, and gruesome. We're out of here. I uh, brought you some new threads. Put them on. You are in a restricted sector. This sector is on high alert. Good job.
job! The crate had a health pack inside. Pick it up. You'll want to keep healthy, Jack, or uh, who'll do the fighting? We're moving in. Surrender yourself. You are under arrest. We're free, Jack! Thanks to me. Nice to breathe some fresh air, huh? We'll get that Baron Praxis guy, all right. Hello, strangers. My name is Kor. May I help? You look like a reasonably smart man. I want information. Where the hell am I? Uh, sorry. He's new to the whole conversation thing. Well, my angry young friend, you are a guest of His Majesty, Baron Praxis, the ruler of glorious Avon City. I was just a guest in the good Baron's prison. Inside a cell or inside the city, walls surround us both. We are all his prisoners. Talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I I'd move on if I were you. By order of his eminence, the Grand Protector of Haven City, Baron Praxis, everyone in this section is hereby under arrest for suspicion of harboring underground fugitives. Surrender and die! Uh, excuse me, sir. Don't you mean surrender or die? Not in this city. Protect us from these guards, and I'll introduce you to someone who can help you. Something's happening to me. Something he did. I can't control it. Very impressive. Uh, you okay, Jack? What you just did was very brave. This child is important. This kid? He looks kind of scruffy. You are in a restricted zone. Move along. Thank you for your help, but I must get this boy to safety. Hey! What about us? There is an underground group waging war against Baron Praxis. Its leader, the Shadow, could use fighters like you. Go to the slums. Find a dead-end alley near the city wall. Ask for Torn. He can help you. We're looking for a guy named Torn. Kor sent us. Um, are you Torn? Maybe this guy's a new, like you used to be. New faces make me nervous. Word is you're out to join the fight for the city. You know, picking the wrong side could be unhealthy. We want to see the shadow. <laughs> Not likely. If you want to join something, why don't you and your pet go join the circus? <laughs> Unless you've got the fur for a really tough task. Steal the Baron's banner from the top of the ruined tower and bring it back to me. Then, maybe we'll talk. guys are in. Woo! Being a big hero sure makes you thirsty. <laughs> the Baron turned off all water to the slums. He's willing to sacrifice innocent lives just to destroy the underground. I shouldn't be surprised. I've seen his evil before while serving in the Crimson Guard. That's why I quit. You were a Crimson Guard? <laughs> well, that explains your charming sense of humor. My friend in the Guard tells me the valve to turn the water back on is located outside the city, at the pumping station. Outside the city? What about the security walls? What about the metalheads? There ain't no petting zoo out there! 
Peeps be getting deep sixed. Find the large drain pipe in the north wall. It'll take you outside the city to the pumping station. Get to the main valve and open it. If you survive, the slums will be indebted to you. If not, maybe we'll have a touching moment of silence in your honor. I'd like to give him a touching moment. The valve. Allow me. Don't say it. Don't even chuckle. Next time, you turn the valve. The slum's water is back on. I'd love to see the heads roll when the Baron finds out. Yeah, I'm sure he's losing lots of sleep over this armpit of the city. We've done what you've asked. Now when do we see the shadow? When I say so. If I say so. But before I even think about it, I want you to take care of an ammo dump we've ID'd in the fortress. Lots of Crimson Guards, constant patrols. We know it's vulnerable. And the Underground needs you to blow up all the ammo you find inside. Get all of it, and we'll deal a body blow to the Baron. You're sending us in, tough guy! So what's with this, we'll deal a body blow stuff? That's fine. I want the Baron to know that it's me who's hurting him. Cool, that's a security pass. We need those to get through city checkpoints. Shh. These barrels are the latest shipment of Eco. The Baron says take them and get out. Metalheads in the city? Why are the guards giving them eco? There's too much excitement. We need to move back to the country. The demolition duo has returned. One barbecued ammo dump served up hot. We saw something odd while torching that ammo. The Baron's guards were giving barrels filled with eco to a group of metalheads. Really? The Shadow will be very interested to hear that. You know, so far, your gigs have been easier than stealing grass from a sleeping yakko. <laughs> you and the rodent want to start proving yourselves? One of our suppliers needs his payment delivered. A bag of eco ore. Take the Zoomer parked out back and drive it to the Hip Hog Heaven Saloon in Southtown. Ask for crew. He'll be there. And don't let the Baron's patrols stop you. By the way, when you get there, pump crew for information. 
He's wired into the city and may know what the Baron is up to. You can count on us. Are you still here? Let me handle this, Jack. Watch my finesse and style. Don't forget to ask Everything's about... cool. Nobody panic. Hey, big guy. You crew? Well, we shook the heat, and your shipment's in primo condition. That's good, eh? Because a cargo of rare eco ore is worth more than ten of your lives. And of course, I'd be forced to collect... slowly. <laughs> the Underground will take anyone with a pulse these days. And what we have here, the Shadow's Mascot of the Month. Ooh, soft. Zig, this fur would go well with my silk suit, eh? Listen, uh, tons of fun. Anyone can see that you uh, and I have the real juice in this bird. We're both players, right? We're both looking for a piece of the action, right? I think we can do business, right? We did you a favor. Now it's your turn. Why is the Baron giving eco to metalheads? Questions like that could get a person killed, eh? Zig! Here, Capitan here and his friend, Bonus. If you want to see what that baby can do, try the gun course outside. Show me some skill with that hardware, and I'll hire you for a job or two, eh? Excellent shooting, Jack. Never thought about being a wastelander? Hmm? Can't say that I have. Wastelanders find items from the outside the city walls, eh? Any artifact or weapon worth having comes through my hands. Work for me and I'll throw some of the sweeter items your way, hmm? Kill metalheads? Get toys? Sounds good to me. Slow down, Jack and a fat man! You two had better run that by me again! Because there's no way I'm going outside the city to face more metalheads! Sig will show you the ropes. So you want to be wastelanders, huh, do boys? Well, we'll see what you're made of when we get out in the thick. Crew wants some new trophies to put butts in chairs at the hip hog. So I'm gonna bag him five nasty metalheads at the pumping station. Mm -hmm. Don't wet your fur, Chili Pepper, because we're rolling with the Peacemaker. Woo! I need one of those. Where'd you get it? Don't ask. Sig needs someone to watch his back while he tracks the metalheads, eh? We'll meet at the pumping station. Listen, Cherries, don't you leave me dangling in the wind out there. Let's do it. Hello, Cherries. Ready to hunt a few metalheads? Follow me, stick close, and watch my six. It's gonna be fun. There's our first target. Keep the other creatures back while I charge up the Peacemaker. Last target, then we go home. Metalheads nothing. That was the last one. Tell crew we got them all cooked and canned. I'm gonna clean Peacemaker and pick up the trophies. You did good, rookie. You boys are turning out to be quite useful, eh? Mm, I have another task for you. The sewers used to be a fabulous smuggling route for me before the Baron installed security devices. And before those late night snack runs kept you from fitting out the front door. I bet you've hatched another brilliant plan in that hungry little brain of yours. 
So, who or what do we have to shake down, knock out, or blow up? Well, I need someone to go down and shoot every sentry gun in the sewers. And I'll give you a sweet weapon upgrade if you succeed. Let me guess. Dank murky water? Reeks worse than your breath at an oyster fest? Fuller of metal heads than your plate at a one-pass buffet? And of course, weapons more lethal than your ever so tidy whiteies on a hot summer day. Look, Donut Hole, why don't we float around here looking hot and heavy, and you go roto root the pipes? We're not doing anything until you tell us why metalheads are trading with the Baron's forces. Oh, I should have had you both kneecapped, eh? All I know is that the Baron caught a desperate dealer with a metalhead leader. <sighs> Metalheads need eco, so the Baron supplies them with regular shipments. In return, the Metalheads agree to attack the city just enough to satisfy the Baron's continued rule. <laughs> yeah, but how long can that deal last? Well, the Baron is running short on eco, eh? And the Metalheads are short on patience. Baron Praxis needs this wall to keep in power. Otherwise, the city would put the true ruler on the throne, wherever that little brat is. Daxter and I will clear your sewers. And we haven't forgotten about that weapons upgrade you promised in return. Bloodsuckers. Is that horrible smell? Oh, great! We do your dirty work in the sewers and come back smelling worse than a wet hip hog in a warm barn. This could have a serious impact on the lady factor. No. I think it was my lunch, actually. Nice work in the sewers, eh? I guess you're looking for that weapon upgrade. Mm. Well, there's a blast of mod stashed in some crates at the port. Find it, and it's yours. <laughs> I have a proposition for you, Jack. Racing is the biggest sport in the city. Errol is the undisputed grand champion. He's crazy and dangerous on the track. <laughs> My kind of guy. Only a fool would dare race against him, eh? And that's where you two come in. A client of mine is looking for a fast driver for her racing team. Here's a security pass to get you into the stadium section. Uh, and your contract with just a few trifles for me. <laughs> I've uh, already signed your name to save time. Hmm? We, the racers, hereby agree to give crew all proceeds from race earnings, endorsement fees, broadcast royalties, syndication residuals, vehicle sponsorships, small appearance fees, collectible card assets, fast food tie-ins, use of likeness rights, talk show deals, clothing lines, all print rights, including book, novella, comic, pamphlet, ticket tape, neon sign, and bathroom graffiti designs. <sighs> Toy rights, shoe lines, mood rings, game rights. Game rights? Vitamin endorsements, city kickback, movie deals, and of course, all death and dismemberment accident insurance claims. <laughs> we can work out the tiny details later. If you can get from here to the race garage near the stadium in less than three minutes, my client said she would consider letting you drive for her team. Make me proud, hmm? Hello? Crew said someone was looking for a race driver? I'm busy right now. You must be Crew's new errand boy. Look, I don't mean to be rude. You did get here fast. But I'm not interested in any new drivers right now. And I've got work to do. Is there anything we can do? No! I'm uh, working on a secret uh, uh, vehicle project. Okay, sorry. Listen, if you think you've got the guts to race in this town, try taking my prototype jet board out on the stadium course. Beat the stadium challenge, and maybe I'll consider you for my team. We be 
beat the stadium challenge. Great. People do get lucky. Listen, don't you have someone to collect money from or beat up or something? You don't like us, do you? You work for that slime ball crew. What's not to like? Looks like you've won a few races. Isn't it true the city champion gets to tour the palace? Yeah. Why? Could you get me into the palace? A friendly visit, I doubt it. Yeah. I'm a real fan of the Baron. Okay. I'll help you out if you stop bothering me. I saw an old maintenance elevator at the base of one of the palace support towers. That old lift might take you up to the palace if you can find a way to turn on the elevator's power. One of the Baron's mining operations is under attack by the Metalheads. That's not our problem. It is our problem when the foreman's one of the Underground's best informants. His name is Vin and he's just valuable enough to save. Find the warp gate at the power station and use it to travel to the strip mine so you can rescue Vin's pathetic hide. Hey, Tattooed Wonder, how come we get all the crappy missions? Because I don't like you. Fair enough. Whatever deal the Baron made with the Metalheads, the city's eco is almost gone, and his time is running out. If we don't get the kid back on the throne soon, there may not be a city left to defend. Myself. If you want, you can stay here and be metal meat. But Daxter and I are leaving before those monsters get back. Hey, Sugar Plum. You new here? Well, what you got that's uh, hot? And wait, I've seen you before. You're with the underground. Shh, I'm Tess. Torn sent me to spy on crew. Play along, and I may be able to get my hands on a few of Crew's secrets. Ooh, I love undercover work, baby. But uh, two can work better than one. Let me help you out. <laughs> wow, there sure are a lot of bottles back here. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, that's... Ooh, that, that goes down there. Uh... Ooh, boy. Gee, you suppose that's real gold floating in there? How about this purple stuff? <laughs> Jack, that's the stuff. I need you Fire. and that talking rat to go around and make a few collections for me. Hey there, five gins. How's crimes? What's his problem, eh? Nothing. I'm just fine. Mind your own business. I sometimes feel so very. Listen, very I have six clients around town who are about to make money drops for me. I need you to collect each money back as fast as you can. And take care of any guards who get curious, hmm? Until the money back too late can soon so dry! You know what's the trouble with you, Crow? You got no reason. This place could be a real swinging joy. Happy heaven with more dancing, more macking, more women! Jack knows what Just I'm talking about. Fourteen money bags Jack. before they disappear you know and bring them back here. If you lose what? even one I bag, love you, then man. don't come back, eh? Back to crew. Mm. Like the money. 
money collectors, eh? Here's a gun upgrade. Now get out! I need my beauty lamp. Trust me, brother. There aren't enough hours in the day. One of my old guard comrades was sent to the pumping station. There's been no word from the patrol. And after what you guys ran into out there, I'm afraid she may need some help. Did you say she? Don't even think about it. Stop that! This is serious, you moron. Wah! That's right. Don't mess with the sugar. This friend of mine has helped the underground many times before. Go back to the pumping station and take a look around. Render assistance if needed. Now get your squirrely ass out of here. Yeah, what the heck are we doing risking our lives to rescue some old crimson guard hag anyway? She's probably got more facial hair than me. Who the hell are you two? Mm, I do love a woman in uniform. Wanna bark some orders at me? Woof, woof. I'm your soldier on the front lines of love. Waiter, foxhole for two. Keep talking and I'll raise your voice a couple of octaves. Easy. Torn asked us to help you. I don't need help, but you might. We've got company. Here they come. Whoa. Watching me take care of those metalheads was, uh, pretty exciting, wasn't it, Sugar? Hey! Sweet stripes! Give me them digits so I can look you up sometime! We'll party hard! Big city style! Tell Torn Baron Praxis is planning something big. I think it has to do with that symbol. What is it? It's the seal of the House of Mar, the founder of Haven City. We're being sent out on suicide missions to locate artifacts from the time of his rule. If curiosity's worth dying for, you can ask the blind old soothsayer in the bazaar named Onan. She might know something about all this. Here's my bazaar access security pass. Your name's Ashlyn, huh? We're even now. Wow! What a woman! Arr. Cool! Check out all the dead stuff! Ow! Touch the goods again, rat boy, and you'll be <laughs> counting with your toes. I am Pecker. Yes, yes, I know. My mother, she was very vindictive. I am Onan's interpreter. Onan welcomes you, blah, 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 the usual boring salutations. She says it is good to see you again, Jack. But we've never met before. Before, after, it is all the same. Ow, ow, let me try. Ah! Uh... She wants a... she wants a yakow bone! A yakow bladder! No! No! I got it! For many moons, she has waited for... a juice pop? A jewel shop? Oh! Oh! I know! She's got a hairball! A hair lip! A hairy chest! Close! But no! Onan says you seek answers... <laughs> ...about the Tomb of Mar. So what do we need to know? She's going on and on about mystical energy channels, evil curses, stupid woo crap. Forget all that! I'm gonna sum this up quickly, because now you're cutting into my siesta time. Onan wants you to recover three artifacts from the Precursor Mountain Temple. Not two, not four, three! Use the warp gate at the northwest side of the city, and bring back the three items you find. Bet that's the prize. You mm, miss that one tiny gear? Like candy from a baby. No one will ever know we were here. This puppy's got some vibration to it. This baby will put a smile on your face. That's some paper, huh? 
Something's cooking. Ooh, kind of smells like... Bernadzel? I can't believe you actually did this thing. Onan says she will search the timelines for answers about these sacred relics. I will find you then. Hey, I want to thank you guys for saving my butt out there at the strip mine. And we'd like to thank you for being such a bad shot. Oh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'm a bit jumpy these days. Jumpy? We hadn't noticed. Ah! A metal head behind you! Ah! What the? Who the? What? <laughs> Just kidding. Nice reaction time, though. Not funny! Those metal heads have been attacking our mining operations, and we're running out of eco. Eco power keeps the city shield walls up, and if the shield drops, well, we can all kiss our butts goodbye. I've got a few surprises for those metalheads. You've got to keep the shield walls up until the shadow figures out what to do. My readings show a drop in eco flow at the drill platform. Probably some metalhead egg sucking away power. So use the warp gate to go to the platform and destroy every metalhead egg you can find. Buddy, we need a favor. I can't help you with your eco bill. We need you to switch on the access elevator in one of the palace's support towers. Sheesh! That's part of the old B zone power grid. It hasn't worked for years. Well, if it's too hard for you, I understand. Power stuff can be tricky. Tricky? <laughs> I could route the B zone conduit lines through the bypass grid, shunting past the eco rings to connect inductor tubes in series, then back through the outer wall insulator helix and across the resonant flux routers into the number five capacitor array. Assuming the circuits of GX75B can handle the search, I could link the phase loop lines into the primary coils, and presto, you've got instant lift juice. Ben, you're a genius. Eh, uh, actually. Mar was the genius. People say he made most of this stuff long ago. The shield wall system, the eco grid. Anyway, to get that elevator moving, you gotta find and turn on all the old B-Zone power boxes located in the city. There are five of them. That doesn't sound so tough. No, except those power boxes are guarded by motion sensing turbo cannons. But if you can destroy the cannons and switch the boxes on, I can do the rest. Just don't tell the Baron I ever saw ya. with us. Let me lead an assault on the nest before it's too late. I can take him. Patience, Commander. No one has ever penetrated the metalhead nest, you know that. I've seen what comes of such foolish plans. No. Strength is their weakness. We play helpless. We train them to eat from our hands. And then 
Move forward with the plan. Tell Ashland to up her patrols. I want that tomb found. But your daughter has not been agreeable. Ah, I'll see to that problem, one way or another. Ashlyn is the Baron's daughter? And find that child! If you'd spent half as much time looking for the little brat as you spent flirting with that mechanic girl, we would have pinned his royal ass to a wall long ago. As you wish. With enough persuasion, I'm sure our spy... What was that? So, we have a rat in the walls, do we? A rat in his boy, it seems. Back for a few more Dark Eco treatments? Will allow me to put you both out of your misery! Bye-bye. The city's on high alert. What the hell did you two do? Us? Nothing. We've been, um, sightseeing. Right, Jack? Really? Then why are the Crimson Guard looking for a dangerous young man with light hair, blue tunic, and a rabbit orange rat on his shoulder? Uh, could be anyone. Orange is the new black this season. Look, we climbed up to the Baron's palace, and we tripped a few alarms. Oh, right. That's who. What? I didn't authorize a strike on the- Hey, we kicked the Baron's ass. Unfortunately, he escaped. And we overheard a secret meeting with the leader of the Metalheads! You saw the Metalhead leader? No, he was on some communicator. But we heard him talking with Baron Praxis. The Baron is bribing the Metalheads with Eco! Hmm, it will never be enough. But the Baron's gonna double-cross him! Is that so? Well, our good Baron's wonderful charm must have angered someone, because there's word from the Wasteland that Metalhead armies are on the move again. Why didn't you tell me Ashlyn was Praxis's daughter? What's your connection with her? That's none of your business. Since you've stirred up the Wumpy's Nest, you and Whiskers here get to move four of our people to new safe houses. Shuttle each agent to a location they specify. Move all of them without any casualties. Don't screw this up, Jack. <laughs> Martyr here! Crimson guards are everywhere! Nothing so far. Good drive. Go save the rest of our guys. Okay, thanks. Good luck. Scouts report movement in Dead Town. Creatures moving toward the sacred site, just as before. What happened, uh, before? Metalheads broke through the old city wall. We fought them, but then the Baron pulled back, leaving everyone outside the new barrier to die. Only the Shadow stayed and somehow stopped the attack. And now you expect us to go out there again? You catch on fast. If you prevent the Metalheads from reaching the sacred site, the Shadow will be most grateful. He might even ask to see you. Hey, I'm probably wasting this, but here's a Vulcan barrel for that pea shooter of yours. Believe me, you're gonna need it. Is that... is that... 
What? No, it couldn't be. That's not... It's Samos' hut. But what? How? When? Where? Why? We're in the future, Dax. This horrible place is our world. The shadows decided it's time to meet you. Why is that place in the old ruins so important to you? There's a powerful energy force at the old house. The metalheads are drawn to it. No kidding. We used to know the guy that lived there. So, you're the new recruits who keep getting into trouble. Oh, no, not you! Welcome to our humble underground movement. I am known as the Shadow, but you may call me Samos. And you are? Jeez, Jack, we went through all that to meet His Holiness, Old Log of the Head, Grandpa Green? Don't you know who we are? Sorry, kid. Never seen you before. And I never forget a face. Especially one that ugly. So it begins. How is this possible? We came through the rift with you. I into the future, right? Yeah! You used to look older than dirt and uglier than a knotted stump. What gives? Did you get a little nip and tuck while we were gone? Listen, boys, I don't know what kind of twigs you've been chewing on, but I don't have time for this. We've got a baron to overthrow, a child heir to protect, an invasion of metalheads to stop, and a city to save. I'd say the schedule's pretty full. Besides, I haven't gone through any rifts. I hate teleporting. Sure sounds like the old Samos. Right now, I need you to go to Haven Forest and root out a few metalheads. That forest is my source of power, but I can't protect it much longer. Chase down and destroy all the metalhead scouts you find there. Good luck, and welcome to the fight. Wow, the jet board's ours! I call shotgun. Baron sent his goons to harass me as usual, eh? <gasps> Health violations. Back taxes. Everyone wants a piece of me. <gasps> oh, well. Lucky for you, there's plenty to go around. Destroying that cargo in the port is more important than you know, eh? <gasps> I've got a new project going, and I don't need anyone snooping around my shipments. Let's just say, if everything goes as planned, I'm going to corner the market in metalhead trophies. <laughs> anyway, I have another job for you. An associate of mine, Bruta, works with me in the forced labor trade. You mean the slave trade? Uh, I prefer freedom challenged. Lurkers are the city's low-class labor. Bruta pays me handsomely to help him free lurkers and get them safely out of the city. Oh, he lifts my spirit to help those in need. And I need his money. Lurkers? We don't like lurkers. But you do like gun upgrades, eh? There are three Crimson Guard transports carrying lurkers to a project the Baron has outside the city. Take out the transports and bring the three lurkers to Bruta's trinket stand in the bazaar. Hurry up and get in. We'll take you to Bruta. Another lurker freed. 
little Archie warrior. You have to great thing for brutal and looker people. No touch -er, the dude. Oh, sorry. You great guys. Bruder not forget. Bruder pay you back, you see. Years ago, when I was an art collector, I hit the local museum to borrow a famous statue of Ma, the founder of Haven City. In his hands, the statue held the ruby key to the city, an artifact of surpassing beauty. And, of course, priceless worth, eh? Oh, I just love art. While smuggling the huge statue through the sewers, eh? A grueling rainstorm flooded the whole place. The statue and five of my best men were swept away. That's terrible. Yes. A tragic loss. I've missed that statue ever since. The sewers have been so full of water and metalheads that I can't get anyone to go down there and retrieve the artifact. But you're special, Jack. You can do it. Jack! Hey, what am I, chop liver? Oh, don't I wish. Mm. Now go down there, drain the sewers, and find that statue at the bottom. Bring back the ruby key artifact, and it will open up doors beyond our wildest dreams, eh? Great. More mucking in the mud. I hate to burst your bathtub bubbles, baby, but that ain't just mud down there. Got it. Where would you be without me, eh, Dax? Well, Jack, I probably wouldn't be two feet tall, fuzzy, and running around in a sewer without a pair of pants. God, I miss pants. What is it? Piece of seal, yes? Nice and shiny, huh? All yours. Uh-oh, I think Red Trooper's approaching. boys to escort the kid over to Core at the power station. He promised to look out for the boy, and I'm just too busy to babysit right now. Oh, and take the kid's crocodile with you. Oh, isn't he sweet? So what's this kid's story? I found him just wandering the streets, but that amulet around his neck means he may just be the lost heir to the city. Take the kid and the mutt to the power station. Watch out for guard patrols and defend the kid at all costs. Oh, and uh, if you happen to lose the crocodile. Hey, kid! Wait! Come back! We gotta protect the city! Uh oh! Here comes trouble! told us to bring the kid to you. Thank you. I'll be sure to keep him good. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> Interesting. That insufferable mutt never liked anyone but the boy before. I guess I'm just good with animals. I hope we have enough eco to keep the metalheads at bay. During my travels in the deep wasteland, I saw some of the bigger ones. Awesome creatures. We saw a big one coming out of a rift once. He was ugly! <laughs> I have some valuable information for you. The Baron is conducting an excavation at the dig. He is still looking for that ridiculous tomb. Frankly, I don't believe it exists. To 
Might as well go out there and disrupt his operation just in case. Knock down all the scaffolding at the site. That should set him back. Here is an air train pass to get you out there. There I was, toe to toe, with five of the nastiest metalheads you ever saw. Slime oozing from monstrous jaws, teeth sharper than daggers. Slowly, all ten of them surround me. But do I surrender? No! I summon my highly trained killer instincts and pounce! Yah! Kwa! And when the dust cleared, there were twenty less metalheads in the world. Oh, Daxter, you're amazing. Yeah, I know. Scratch me there. Quite a story there, golden boy. I guess you're just the animal I need for another dangerous gig. Combat metalheads have now been spotted right here in Haven Forest. These new bad boys have special camouflage, so they're tough to spot. But I'm sure with your killer instincts, you'll manage. Go to the forest and take them all out. <laughs> got trouble at the strip mine. I think the Baron set me up. Actually, uh, uh, I think everybody's trying to kill me. What are you talking about? Those eco-wells the Baron had us drill? It seems he never intended to pipe them into the city grid. It doesn't make any sense. You know, open eco-wells will attract more metalheads. You've got to close them off. Now, these plasmite bombs should do the trick. Drop one into each well, <laughs> and the blast will do the rest. Hey, be careful with that. Plasmite, huh? Cool. How does it work? Ah! I believe this is yours. Hey, not my problem anymore. <clears throat> no, really, I insist. <laughs> You're the hero. No, Jack's the hero. Oops. Sorry. My bad. Great! Now you've armed the whole lot! Don't move! On second thought, move! Far away! Go through the portal and drop one bomb into each eco-well before they all go off! You only have two minutes! Sure is scared of metalheads. And for good reason. I've seen what metalheads do when they take a city. The destruction, the killing, the devouring. The Baron's scheming will only result in this city's falling prey like all the others before it. We must replace Praxis before it's too late. I am happy to say that you and your sidekick are causing quite a stir in our fight against the Baron. You hear that, Jack? You're the sidekick. Hey, uh, Wise and Whiskered, you, uh, got something itching under your robes? They have ointment for that, you know. It's just my aching bones. 
We have word the Baron is sending one of his large tanker ships out to the drill platform to pick up a load of ill-gotten eco. Go out to the drill platform through the warp gate and knock out that ship! The Shadow will send a team from the underground to pick up the eco later. Keep up the good work. We're counting on you. Riding in the hood, Red. Get out of the area. This is Crimson Guard business. One of Vin's eco tankers is coming in from the wasteland, but the clearance transmission sounded fishy. The driver was scared. We're going to check it out just in case. How can we help? I've got it handled. Ah! A metalhead sneak attack! Damn! It's just us! Help me take out all the metalheads! Payback's a bitch. I'm Metalheads are getting bolder every day. It's almost like they're testing our defenses, like probing attacks. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you're welcome. The Birdbrain and I were just talking about you, Jack. Onan is very proud of what you did. What I did? What you did, what you'll do, it's all the same. Will you stop with the deja voodoo stuff? It's creepy! Onan says you must find the Tomb of Mar. Even now, Baron Praxis seeks the tomb, but only the one true heir of Mar can open the tomb's seal. We believe the kid is the key. The prophecies say that the true heir of Mar must face the ancient oracle. He alone must circumvent the cunning test of Manu. He alone must wield the precursor stone, thereby unleashing the... Jeez, Louise, fossil lady! Stop with this snooty mythic talk already, huh? You know that it hurts my lips. <sighs> Why is Mars' tomb so important? The fabled precursor stone is rumored to sleep within the tomb, stupid! I added the stupid part. The precursor stone contains vast eco-energies. It can be used for great good or great evil. <laughs> I just love saying that last part. The Baron wants the precursor stone for himself to rule the world. But he is playing with forces he does not understand. Okay, Pecker. So how do I get this Precursor Stone? First, you must go to the dig and find the Lurker Totem. Onan and I have learned that a piece to the Seal of Mar is contained within its ancient carvings. You must find all three pieces of the seal to open Mar's gate into the canyon. I'm on it. Wait a minute. I think this time you should go get the thing. Looks dodgy up there! Don't hurt yourself, Jack! It's a curse, isn't it? The Baron's coming down pretty hard. Whatever you've been doing, you've really upset him. I'm just getting started. He's brought in new Crimson Guard Hellcat cruisers, making the streets dangerous for the Underground. We've already lost five men this week. Your men should be able to take care of themselves. But I wouldn't mind taking out a few cruisers, if that's what you're getting at. Never part of a bigger cause, eh, Jack? Fine. I'll take your help any way I can get it. Bring down all five Hellcat cruisers. That should send the Baron a message. We destroyed Chris Cargo. Great! I'll send you a medal. Now, if you don't mind, I'm on a deadline, so screw Are you up. always this difficult? Let me handle this, Jack. 
Listen, lady, we beat your stupid course, and we can outrace anybody in this city. Wait, that voice. Now, there's just two things you need to know. One, we don't want to join your stinking race team. And two, you just lost a date with Orange Lightning. Let's go, Jack. Daxter, it is you! Mira! Oh, I never thought I'd be so glad to see your furry mug. And Jack, you look different. It's been a tough ride. The Baron pumped our boy here full of dark eco, and it did something to him. Now he's got super moves or something, and a few anger issues as well. I've been looking for you guys forever, and planning a way to get us back home. Somehow that rift took us far into the future. I've calculated the time displacement, and we I found think your I've father. Got... Well, sort of. Working with the underground, fighting the Baron, but he's uh... what? You need to go see him, and I need to get to the Baron. You could try to win the Class 1 Racing Championship. The winner of that big race always gets to meet the Baron in the palace. But you have to qualify by winning the lower class races. There's a Class 3 race starting soon. You could drive for my team. But Jack, we should think about getting out of here. I don't like this place. And some of the people are creepy. Jack, my boy, I need that ruby key you found, eh? A special client has requested it. Sorry about that, crew. <laughs> I must have forgotten. Right. Attention all citizens. The Class 3 race is about to begin. gonna provide some challenge, huh? Hey, I watched your race today. You were pretty amazing out there. Oh, thanks. Uh, Kira, uh, this is Ashlyn. She's just... Everyone knows who she is. And Kira's... A, a friend. A very good friend. Really? Thanks for helping out with that tanker, Jack. You saved a lot of lives. I'm not my father, you know. Ever since I was a little girl, I've looked down at the city streets from that ridiculous palace and imagined a better place. By the way, they're hunting for you. I'd watch out for Errol. I can't protect you from him. Woo! She's a Betty! And she likes you, Jack! Not that I can account for her tastes. I bet you'd love to pin some medals on her chest, huh? <laughs> what? What'd I say? What did you say, Jack? Expecting that little boy to save us is folly. At his age, he's no match for the Metalhead leader. Oh, Jack, we were just talking about Samos' plan. Onan says your voice sounds very familiar. I'll bet you two golden oldies go way, way back, huh? Onan needs you to prove yourself, Jack. You've shown your brass and your brawn. Now you must show your brains as well. Frankly, I think she's pushing it. But I'm not the boss. Beat this test, and the third piece to the seal will be revealed. Nothing so far. Ready? Go! That symbol wasn't there! Penalty! You missed some! I've got suspicious activity in the sector. Mason, you actually won! I am without words, and that is rare. Behold, the seal of Mar is now complete. Onan says the three artifacts you retrieved from the mountain temple are relics from an ancient light tower. Old songs tell how this light tower once shined down on the actual site of Mar's tomb. I sing one of these songs for you. From the mists of time, Mars light would shine. Oh, there, Iron Lungs. Just tell us what we need to do. Cretans with no taste, huh? Puh. You must take the three artifacts to Mars Gate. 
Only then would the light tower rise and reveal the tomb. We send this poor kid into a meat grinder? This is the day I've long awaited to finally hold the fabled precursor stone in my hands. You must be cautious, child. The tests of manhood are sure to be fraught with peril, and Mars Air must face them alone. It's okay, kid. You can do it. It's just a deep pitch black sure to be filled with the brim with painful death. Old tomb. I wouldn't go in there. Welcome, heir of Mar. Finally, the Chosen One stands before me. Enter and prove yourself worthy to claim my ancient birthright. No. This child is too young to face the tests. What? No! Do something, Jack! Jack, remember the shore to be filled to the brim with painful death, pot? Great tree limbs. He's gone to face the tests. No, he's gone to his death. Freeze! Baxter, there you are. What happened to you? I had a hairy experience. No thanks to you. Welcome, young warrior. Many eons have passed since our hope burned so brightly. Today, you have proven yourself worthy to receive Ma's legacy. He's talking about me? Thanks, you holy statuness. This tomb wasn't so tough. What you are about to receive contains grave power, and with it comes grave responsibility. Eons ago, the Precursors waged a terrible war with the Horaquan, those dark creatures you refer to as Metalheads. Driven by their dark leader, the Metalhead legions destroyed our great civilization, and now they swarm the universe unopposed, looking for the last relics of our power. Ma tried to hide the Precursor Stone in this tomb to protect it from them. It is our last hope, and you were chosen to keep that hope alive. I think you got me confused with someone else. I just want the stone. It is time to fulfill your destiny. Behold. Wow! Let's get the goods. Boom! You brought me right to the stone. Your pitiful underground friends were no match for my guards above. Now I will gain the power I need to crush my enemies. And after claiming the stone, I'll begin with you. Abomination. 
the Precursor Stone was not meant for you. How did the Baron know we were so close to making a move for the stone? It's my fault. The Baron threatened to kill Ashlyn for spying. His own daughter. I couldn't risk that, even for the Underground. Right. Very good thinking. Except Praxis has the Precursor Stone now, so he can do whatever he wants! There is still a way to get our friends back. And maybe the Precursor Stone as well. I'll find Vin. Go to the fortress and we'll call you. And why should we trust you? Because you and I both know the Baron would have killed Ashlyn. It'll be a tough fight through the fortress. Probably suicide. You just get that door open. I'll be there. Hey there, sweetheart! The metal head masher has saved the day! Oh, and I let Jack tag along too. Oh, my little hero! Samus, are you all right? What took you so long? I added six rings to my trunk waiting for you two to get me out of here! Great Yakow horns! What happened to you, Jack? Wait a minute! You're you! I mean, the other you! I mean, you know what I mean. Yes, it appears I have an older time twin. Great grass grubs! I can't believe what a cranky old log I've become! Two Samos the Sages! Ah, Jack! They're multiplying! We need to find the kid pronto! What are you talking about, old growth? The kid already opened the tomb. Our top priority should be to disrupt the Baron's forces. Oh, look who thinks they've sprouted. If you were half as wise as I am, you'd know that the proper course of action is to find the kid. Listen, you old dried up leaf. I run this outfit, and I say we go after the Baron's forces. Do we have to separate you two? Vin's activating the warp gate. We need to get out of here now. You boys are all right. And since the boss is out of it right now, I'm going to give it to you straight. I've been cruise heavy for years, and I've done some things I'm not proud of. But this time, I think Cruz gotten himself and us into something really nasty. I'm thinking of getting out. Oh, Sig's beginning to like us, Jack. Come here, you big lug. Hugs for everyone. Mark it off. I think Cruz trying to. Shh. <laughs> Relax. Watch me butter up, Bun Boy. Hey there, stuffed crust. How's it feel floating on top of the food chain? Ooh, Crewmeister. Have you been exercising? You're looking good. You are definitely mm, living large. Mm -hmm. And those legs, they're so uh, chiseled. I need you to escort three of my boys down into the sewers and visit that statue again. I've heard that Mars' cheeky face might contain another secret, and I want you to see if the stories are true, eh? Make sure all three of my boys get to that statue, and they'll do all the rest, hmm? Excellency, quiet, here comes Pretty Boy. About time you showed up. Okay, let's do this. 
crew said you'll protect us all the way to the statue. I got 30 keys of high explosives strapped to my back. Great. Yeah, why did we sign up for this? Just shut your whiny traps and keep moving. This way. Uh, did you hear that? Pretty statue. Stand back. We're professionals. All right, boys, let's blow this sucker sky high. Wait, who told you to... No! There's what we're looking for. The Hadama Jim. Thanks for the escort, buddy. We'll take it back to crew. Now we're rocking. The Baron is still up to his old tricks. The Underground got word that several Crimson Blast Bots are zeroing in on the hideout here. They're armored bombs which seek out targets. If any of those Blast Bots reach this place, we're dead. Ah, what are you worried about, old man? You're almost dead anyway. Well, if you'd taken better care of yourself, I wouldn't be in the state I am now. Take out those blast bots before they reach the hideout, Jack. They have proximity defenses, so do be careful. Good, Good hunting! hunting. Dark Eco Freak. Where's Kira? Don't worry. I'm keeping a close eye on her. You're the talk of the town, Jack. You give the people hope. How pathetic. I would have enjoyed killing you in prison. But now, it'll be so much more fun to take you on the track in front of the entire city. I can hear the roar of the crowd now as everyone sees their hope die. It's good to have you back, Daddy. Yes, it's nice to be free again. You know. Kira loves a winner. Someday she'll be my mechanic. Stay away from her. <laughs> <sighs> Errol's the best racer I've ever seen. He's not what you think. And you're a good judge of character? Ha! Look at you! People say you get angry and change. Besides, the Jack I knew wouldn't be working for a guy like Crew. I need Crew's connections to fight the Baron. Without my... You know what? Do it your way, and I'll do it mine. Just don't come crying to me when the walls fall down. Uh, Jack, buddy? <laughs> Where you going there, pal? Jack? Jack? Attention all drivers. The class two races will begin soon. No, what are we gonna do? You'll have to drive for the team, Daxter. We need this win to qualify for the final championship. How hard can it be? Just, uh, hold on tight and point the thingy where I want it to go, right? And then there's the other thingy that makes it go fast. Fast is good. I can do this. I'm ready to race. Now there's a handsome winner. You did it, Daxter. You helped us qualify for the big race. Did you ever doubt? I backseat drive for Jack all the time. Hey, when do I get the winner's big kiss? Maybe later. 
if you're a good boy. Hey there. We, uh, we showed those class two losers a thing or two, huh? I saw. You drifted a little high in the turns a few times, but you hung in there. I'm proud of you, Dax. Really? Yeah, you did great. No, we did great. Right, partner? Hey, back to work, toots. She's working, beach ball. Quit your yapping. Watch it, or you'll be yet another trophy hung on these walls. Jack, I want you to throw the championship race. Just let Errol win. You bet against us? Jack, Jack, it's just business. You've become a symbol to those townies. They'll bet everything on a glimmer of hope. What better time to make money? What do you say, my boy? I'd say you're gonna lose a lot of money. Because I'm going to race. And I intend to win. Oh, you little! You're becoming more trouble than you're worth. I wouldn't get too comfy if I was you. Everyone's expendable. In a hurry to die, boy? But we don't have to wait for the big race. We can do this right now. One on one, through the city, using accelerator rings. Hit every ring from start to finish. Miss even one ring and it's over. Kira already thinks you're a loser. And I'll prove it now, once and for all. You're on. <sighs> Don't get too cocky, outlaw. Next time we race for keeps, and your head will be my trophy! Your ear. You were bottle fed, weren't you? This is Samos. Jack, I need you to go out to the ruins in Dead Town and visit my old hut. It's now time to retrieve something I hid there long ago. Good luck. And Daxter, clean up my place while you're out there. I spent many a day cleaning up this place for old Greeny. Jack, and Daxter, I suppose. Before we came through the rift long ago, I was nurturing that life seed from the great tree. It seems the metalheads are attracted to its power. Take the seed to Onan now. She will prepare it for Samus. Y you mean you? Yeah, and I know the other me, Daxter. My younger self needs the seed's power to become sagely. So, let me get this straight. It's fair to say that by bringing your younger self the life seed now, we helped you become the sage you are today. We helped you get your powers in the first place. And you never thanked us? Thank you, Dexter. Now go do it! Hey there, sack of nerves. How's the stuff going? I've got good news and bad news. The good news is Kor tells me we've got enough power online to keep the shield walls up. So for now, the city's safe. But I don't know how long the system can hold. And the bad news? We've detected a cluster of metalhead eggs growing up at the strip mine site. Now you've got to go back there and find a way to destroy those eggs before they turn into a whole new army of creatures. I noticed the crane was lifting a large metal container. If we could jump onto the container, we could drop the crate from above. Hi, jump, drop. Why don't I like the sound of that? Come on, Dax, let's go. says, what took you so long? We had to skip lunch waiting for you, too. Ah, okay, okay. She really says, thank you for saving the live seed. But I wouldn't say that if I were her. Give Onan the seed, and she would prepare it for Samus. Mm. Bird seed. Back off, featherweight! Listen, Tiny Tail. I was leading my hundred flocks south before you had fur one between your legs. Not that your fur means anything. 
At least I'm not some overstuffed, over yapping, feather dusty mouthpiece for the world's oldest professional. Jack says, have a nice day. Jack says, I can't think on my own. Jack says, go bite yourself. That's it, rat boy. Now you've really pissed me off. Knock it off, both of you. You're lucky I'm famished. Onan says take the energized life scene to young Samos in Haven Forest. It will give Samos the power he needs to finally see the forest from the trees. Go, quickly. Samos told me to, I mean, you told me to, or, well, I mean, your older version. Uh, whatever. We heard you needed the life seed. Yes, its power will help me speak to the plants. There he is! Roger, we're in route. I see him. Jack, protect me from these guards. I must ask the plants vital questions about our future. is planning to destroy the Precursor Stone. He aims to crack it open somehow. If he does this, the energy released will be beyond comprehension. It will destroy the world and more, ending all life. The plants are crying out for protection. You must stop the Baron, Jack. Stop him however you can. It's Brother Jack and his little RG pal. Fight the totem I seize you. You help lurkers once time, you help us twos? Look, Bruder, we've got our own problems to deal with right now. But you know big to do ruckus, you cause a dig? I know all caves like Back of Claw, and Mars Tomb, nowhere there. Now metalheads find hidden lurker village in caves. They bite and hurt village real bad, and me lurker brothers trapped like animals. Uh, hello, they are animals. We're no longer evil lurking bad to bones, RG boy. We good now. Metalheaders are bad. They is enemies. Yeah, I guess we're all in the same boat now. And this ship is sinking fast, brother. Please, save six Lurker brothers quick, and Bruder will kiss you foot. So close. The Baron stole the Precursor Stone right out from under us, and after all of our planning and hard work, Torn has betrayed the cause. Torn meant well. He was protecting one of our own. We must get that stone back. I'm working on it. Yeah, we're working on it. I've underestimated this Baron, and now it appears he has taken the boy as well. Think. What will the Baron's next move be? Well, if I had the Precursor Stone with all that power, I'd use it to build a giant palace. A palace with the biggest harem of women the world has ever known. And there'd be a swimming pool filled to the brim with chocolate. Slightly minty. Yeah, yeah, a massive pool of gooey chocolate. Then the girls and I would jump in together. What? I want you to go out to the drill platform again. If you can destroy the main control tower there, it should temporarily stop the Baron's use of Eco to harm us. Alert. Backup cooling system failure. Emergency override initiated. Gotta run! Gotta run! Backup systems failing. Very soon, 
Our fortunes will change. I'll show you guys what I've been working on if you promise not to laugh. Ooh, I love surprises, and I love to laugh. Show me, show me. I've been building a replica of our crashed rift riding machine from old artifacts. That's my girl. But I'm still missing two pieces. Figures. Vin says I need an artifact called the Time Map and an old energy gem history books call the Heart of Mar. And I've looked in every book on precursor history I can find, but the rift ring seems to have vanished. You did all this? I mean, that's useful. Oh, well, you two stop moping around and make up already. I've seen the Heart of Mar. Crew has it. We'll get those two artifacts, Kira. Attention all drivers. The Class 1 Championship race is about to begin. Well, here goes. The race of my life. Jack, I just wanted you to know, well, you're the best racer I've ever seen. Hey! What about me? I helped get us here! Do you want to drive? Against that crazy loon arrow? No way! You got the handlebars, brother. And you'd better keep us alive or I will never speak to you again! Obviously. Leave him in the dust, Jack. I want more than just to win, Eco Freak. I want you! Greetings, racers! Today, your nerve and skill will be tested for our amusement. If any of you should by some small chance beat our grand champion, Harold, then you will be awarded a month's supply of Eco! And a short tour of my palace to see how the other half live. Good luck, and die brave. Ready, get set! Just a little closer. We need to talk. Fool! Don't you get it? It's over, Jack! All the heroes died long ago. Only survival remains. By whatever means! This city is mine. These lives are mine. This war is mine. And in war, people die! Kill it. Look out! I win, Jack! I shouldn't have trusted you. Back where we started, huh? Don't play with me. All along you've been trying to undermine our war with the Metalheads. Whose side are you on? Listen, Ashlyn. Your father's planning something terrible. And if- My father can destroy the Metalhead armies once and for all. If he cracks open the Precursor Stone, the explosion will kill all of us. Don't you get it? That's right. Not so hard, huh? Even I can figure this one out. Don't you move. Vin, come in. What? What? I've got my hands full here, you know? You know all about the Precursor Stone myth, right? Sure. I did my Econetic Energy Doctorate on Precurian Theoretical Physics. Why? What would happen if the Precursor Stone were to be, say, violently cracked open? Great. As if I didn't have enough to keep me awake at night, you give me one more thing to dread. And thank you very much. If someone actually had the stone, according to my calculations, a runaway ego search and cracking open would theoretically destroy everything. Everything? All things. Every single thing. No, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go throw up. Bye-bye. Trust me, Ashley. We have to stop him. I'll try to find out more. But right now, my father is meeting crew at a secret weapons factory near the dig. Here. That's my top-level security pass. It'll get you into the factory, but it won't get you back out. We never had this conversation. I knew you were special when I first met you, Jack. And I commend you for making it this far. We've come a long way, eh? Yeah, I'm getting real teary-eyed. I love weapons. I love how they look, how they feel. 
<laughs> Even how they smell. I think you need serious help. My favorite was the impossibly powerful weapon Ma built to blast open the metal head nest. Poor fool died before he could use it. Ah, well. But I have a new favorite. The piercer bomb I've just completed. My masterpiece is powerful enough to crack open the precursor stone and release the untold energy inside. As soon as the Baron shows up with a stone, we'll hide it in the last shipment of Eco and deliver it to the Metalhead Nest. A surprise dessert, eh? <laughs> Just take this gun upgrade and forget what you saw here. Not this time, crew. I'm through being your hired gun. Then it's war, isn't it? Let me introduce you to my crew. I've sold you all out. <laughs> uh, Jack, I think maybe we should be anywhere else just about now. Ashley. We're out of here. You guys find my father. I'll take the heart of Marta Kira for you. I'm sorry it's come to this. Hey guys, whatever crew put in that machine, he looked really nervous. Whatever it is, crew won't be needing it anymore. He's, shall we say, not all together these days. Step aside, Jack. Let the game player do his stuff. You're such an animal. You know, Sugar Plum, if any real metalheads came to town, I'd bunk them just like I did in the game. Daxter? They'd be all, don't hurt me, please! And I'd be all, too late, metal monkeys! You die screaming! <laughs> know what I'm saying? Um... Jack, I think these trophies are still working! <laughs> metalheads! Metalheads! Where's Sig when you need them? Sig? I think Crew sent Sig on one last mission. Something about using Mars Ruby Key to open a secret door in the Underport. Of course. Come on, Dax. We need to get to the Underport right now. I'll take the time map to Kira. Be careful, Angel Cheeks. And your hero will return shortly. The shield wall is down! I repeat, the shield wall is down! Sabotage! Core did it! I knew metalheads would be the end of me! Oh no! Metalheads are at the door! They're breaking through! Too many of them! Jack! Ah! Hey there, tough guy. Get your skinny ass over here and start shooting! Man, was I set up! Crew sent me down here to open some old doors with that ruby key you found. And when I did, metalheads came streaming in from some passage outside the city walls. Just like they were waiting for me. There's one! Crew's dead. Yeah? Well, he's lucky! because he would not want me to catch him alive. The Metalheads must have promised Crew plenty for him to betray the whole city like this. Let's get out of here. Great. Here comes that bad boy again. Woo! to the elevator. Looks like we finally lost some chili peppers. Piece of cake, huh? Now you boys are real wastelanders. I say it's time we take this fight to the metalhead leader himself. 
What a trophy he'll make. We find a way to juice up Mars' old gun, and then boom, baby, we storm the nest guns blazing. Hell, we'll take them all on together. You and me, side by side. Nothing will stop us, because we're... Shit! So, uh, what's plan B? This is Kira. Thanks for getting the artifacts, guys. It's strange. The time map had a bunch of old coordinates in it. Come see me at the stadium. The Rift Rider's finished, but if my father's right and the ring is somewhere in the Metalhead nest, how are we going to get the Rift Rider there to use it? Look! Bruder just knew friends would need lift if Metalheaders attack. Bruder, you the man! Lucka Balloons are finest lifters in world, but they is easy target. Right, you guys get the Rift Rider to the nest. I'll stay here and defend your takeoff and getaway. Once again, being your friend sucks! I wanna go in the balloon! You keep Stadium safe while we prep Balloon for lift away. Oh no, here they come! Little Haggers! I'm popping away! Must be nice floating away while we die down here! We'll meet near the nest! See you soon, Jack! Be careful! Yeah, Jack! Be careful! Jack! The core! Construction! Site! What's going on? I'm sure you know. Deep down in your darkest nightmares. We've met before, remember? Everything's going exactly as planned. <laughs> Jack! It's the Metalhead leader! No! Without the shield, the world disrupting my powers inside the city. I am my full potential now. So for the last time, give me the precursor stone! If the city must die, then we all die! Ah! I will find that stone if I have to crush this city one brick at a time! Supreme weapon, Jack. And I made you. Still, any leader worth his salt always has his backup plan. Remember, the first rule in making a bomb is to always make two. No! Oh, okay, I'm going in. Man, what a mess of junk in here! All jumbled coils and switches! Should I unhook the blue wire? Wait a minute, Aratzel's colorblind? Let me just break a few more things and see if anything pops loose. Boom! <laughs> gotcha! Like candy from a baby. I think now's the time to act. The metalheads are so focused on attacking the city, they may have left their nest vulnerable. Jack, you've got to get out to the wasteland and breach the nest barrier. Any way you can. Maybe if you get inside and take out the metal head leader, the army will collapse. It's a long shot, but it might be our only chance. There isn't much hope now. With the shield wall destroyed, it's just a matter of time before the metal heads overwhelm us. You should just go through the rift back to your own time, Jack, and get away from this horrible place. I see your point. Come on, Jack. This place is worth fighting for. We'll hold out as long as we can. Farewell. Precursor stone, gun, nest. Light her up, Padre! <laughs> I eat this. That ought to wake him up. Let's go take care of business. What? You mean go in there? Uh, I'm right behind you. To join us, and you brought the precursor stone. Good. The boy will now play his final part. Not this time. Oh, but this child is such a part of this, such a part of you. Don't you recognize him? The boy is you, Jack. And this place, this is where you began in the future. But how? 
You were hidden in the past on the hope that you would gain the skills to face me today. But Onan was wrong. Now that you've been altered with Dark Eco, the stone will never open for you. Your younger self, however, still has the pure gift. He alone can awaken the stone and the precursor entity which sleeps inside. This stone is a precursor? The last precursor egg. Ma was clever. He covered his tracks well through time, hiding his last egg from me and building the shield and city to defend it. It has been a long siege, but today I will finally feed on the last precursor life force. Uh, I think you're forgetting one little thing, Metalomaniac. We've got the precursor stone. Not for long! I'm afraid your Rift Rider must be used to send young Jack here to a place where he will grow up safe from harm. He must become old enough to complete the destiny he has fulfilled today. Wait a minute. It's you. I, I mean, it's me. I have to take him back and watch over him, don't I? Ah, grub roots. Talk about being in the wrong time at the right place. Hey kid, you take care. Oh, and trust me on this. Stay away from any wumpy nest on your ninth birthday, okay? I sure hope I built this replica right. I don't know if it... It's perfect, Kira. This is the very machine we found, or will find later. What? I just built this. After seeing the first one, I mean. It's based on what I remember from... Honey, the more you think about it, the more it hurts the head. I'll take good care of the child. And don't worry. I'll be back in time for the celebration. Farewell. Thanks, Samos. Without you... It's funny. The boy won't remember any of this. No. I do remember the light. Your transport is ready, milady. Thank you, Captain Bruder. Come on. We'll be late for the party at Daxter's new place. I've got so much work to do. Besides, it's not my thing. Ten Hut! As the new governor of this city, I ordered the commander of the New Crimson Guard to escort me to an official function. Is that understood? Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. I mean... You can start rebuilding the city tomorrow. Tonight, we get to celebrate with our new friends. Besides, tough guy, I'm dying to see you dance. Not likely. Welcome to the Naughty Atzel, the hippest, happiest, happiest joint in town. Check out the new decor. Ooh, what a big trophy. As if size matters. I bagged that bad boy myself, baby. Onan says she doesn't know who has a bigger head, him or you. 
We must not forget Vin and all the others who sacrificed their lives to defeat this evil and protect the child. I still can't believe that little boy was me. Better times, huh? You miss him, huh? You know, the kid grows up to be a handsome hero. Hey! That's enough for you, lady! I'm cutting you off! Trust me, she gets real mean when she's like this. What'd she say? Something about rubber tubing and certain parts of your mother. You don't want to know. Ah, a metalhead! Sig! Sig! I knew that. You're okay. You cherries didn't think some nasty breath, giant-sized lizard was going to keep me from the biggest party in town, did you? I knew you were too tough for him, big guy. You saved the city and more, my boy. Metalcore and his menace are history, and somewhere out there, an ancient race has begun again. I'm just glad to be back home. Yeah, well, rest up. We've got a lot to do, and so much time to do it in. Don't say time. The rift ring was destroyed, remember? You know, my mama used to read bedtime stories about Mar when she tucked me in. She'd give me a nice glass of warm yak cow milk, a little poopsie bear. Bedtime stories? Warm milk? Poopsie bear? Buddy, you just blew your image. I've got a feeling we'll meet Mar someday. He may be closer than you think. You're the designated driver. Oh, no. I am done with adventure. Besides, you'll tell us before something happens next time, right, Samos? Right, Samos? You never know what the future may hold. Wait. You know something, don't you, Feather Breath? Who? Me? Ah, uh, no. We're just uh, guessing, right, Samos? Hey, tomorrow, only time will tell. No, you're gonna tell right now! Why <laughs> you? Why you? Watch your Jack, my boy. The future 